People are saying, what do I do? I can't go to confession. Okay, well, first thing to be said is don't commit mortal sins, people. <laughs> I, we, I, it happens, I know. But when you're in a situation where you don't have priests, don't mess around, man. Do not mess around with mortal sin. What if you are in mortal sin? What do you do? Well, I heard a great sermon two weekends ago from a fraternity of St. Peter Priest. He said, if you enter into mortal sin, don't just be like, oh, I got to go to confession. Dang it. Or double down and just do more sins. And like, I can't go to confession until Friday, so I might as well just sin, 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 sin until Friday. No. He says, when you commit a mortal sin, cleanup begins at that moment. You must begin cleanup. The very first thing you do when you realize you committed a mortal sin is you rouse up in your heart love for God, sorrow for sin, and you attempt with all your strength and might to make a perfect act of contrition. A perfect act of contrition is sadness and brokenheartedness for committing a sin and offense against God, not because you fear hell or purgatory or because you want to get to heaven and play baseball with your old friends, but because you love God and you've wounded him. That's a perfect act of contrition. We sh now it's very the saints say it's very hard to make an act of contrition, but we do know that people do it. When we have imperfect acts of contrition, this is like, oh, I committed a moral sin and go to hell. That's imperfect contrition. But if you bring imperfect contrition to confession with the priest, ex opere operato, the power of the sacrament absolves you of your mortal sins, even though you don't have perfect contrition. All you have to do is bring, technically, 1% of imperfect contrition into the confessional. And you have 1% of imperfect contrition. The sacrament ex opere operato is going to remit your eternal punishment. Your temporal punishment in purgatory, boy, it's racked up because you're not really sorry. But the eternal consequence is taken away. If you go to confession with zero contrition, not even any imperfect contrition, your mortal sin remains, you're going to go to hell. It doesn't go away. You must bring contrition into the confessional, even if it's imperfect, even if it's minuscule and tiny. So if you bring sins, but not sins repented of with no contrition, you aren't forgiven. So in review, if you commit a mortal, first of all, don't commit a mortal sin. Just don't do it. Not worth it. Get drunk and go to hell forever. Dumb. Pornography, masturbation, adultery, and go to hell forever? Dumb. Bad deal. Don't do it. If you find yourself skipping mass, dumb. Don't do it. If you find yourself and you have committed mortal sin, immediately, Holy Spirit, help me to love God. Help me to repent. Help me to reject this. Help me to turn my whole heart 100% back to God and do everything you can to rouse perfect contrition. And perfect contrition is not an emotion per se. It, it might have emotion with it. Perfect contrition is a movement of the will. You're turning your core, your rational appetite back to God perfectly, right on target. So we don't want to despair. We want to follow the counsel of Trent, which teaches you can, with God's grace and with love in your heart, make a perfect act of contrition. We should never, by the way, act on presumption that we have. We should never. But we should have the hope that we've been given the grace to do so.